right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hakodash, Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. Today, this millstone going to be titled Job's Closing Experience. You know, going into how Job, you know, he stood stiffly for the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. You know, even though the Lord let say, you know, bring um, uh, all that judgment upon him and, and just to try him and test him, you know, to prove that he'll stand stiffly for the names through all what Job went through. Hey, the Lord had him stand stiffly for the names, hey, and his closing experience was that hey, he received everything uh, back a hundredfold, you see, and, and that's what we're looking forward to. That's why we post the, um, what it says, the things aforetime was written for our learning, roughly paraphrased, so these stories like this, Job, you know, Daniel, them, how they all stood stiffly for the names, and our Lord, how was shot. And, and they was um, blessed in the end. But I'm going to start right here St. James chapter 5 and verse 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. You see? So, hey, once again, things of four time in fire learning. You're supposed to look back at the prophets. Jeremiah, all the afflictions that he had to go through, how they tried to kill him. You see how they killed our Lord Yahweh Shah. They throw uh, Daniel in the lion's den. Like uh, Esau Edom finna come down hey, like a madman, spare none. Persecution is on the way, man. All these things has to take place. Persecution, the Karagma, concentration camps, a great famine, mass death here in America. But hey, through it all, we have to... Uh, Pray and hope that Yahweh by Shema Shah bless us to be able to elect to stand stiffly for the names hey, so we can um receive uh that blessing in the end. <clears throat> Verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. You see, he said, we heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord. Let me get this word in. Yep, uh, G5056. The end, it says termination. Uh, let me get straight to the point. It says the last in any succession. You see, and the end, this is going to be the end of it all, man. Once our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, this is going to be the last in any succession. And our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to reign. He's going to deliver his elect, and he's going to um, he's going to set the earth up in righteousness, you know, uh, for the sake of uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah and the nation of Israel. But when you come down to the... Um, You up to the Greek lexicon. And you go to the word, you know, this is the word for in, so like it. Yep, right here. It says, the closing experience which befell Job by the Most High's command. You see, and with the closing experience with Job, how he lost everything, but in the end, hey, he received it back a hundredfold. You see? Let me grab this. Book of Job, chapter 1. And now I'm going to read, read 1. It says, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared the Most High and eschewed evil. So Job, hey, he was in the spirit. Like he feared Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, he, he did the will of the Lord. He eschewed evil. You know, he avoided evil at all costs. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. 
And it says, I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says so you can get the numbers. It says he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 teams of oxen, and 500 female donkeys. He also had many servants. He was, in fact, the richest person in that entire area. You see? So the Lord had Joe. Hey, Joe was living, uh, he was well off. You see? Matter of fact. And the Lord, he put, um, and the Lord put Satan on Joe. Just to get straight to the point. Here's verse 6, uh, Joel 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh See, it say the sons of the Most High. And Satan came also among them. So Satan is the son of Yahweh. You see? And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered, Lord, and so like, then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? So you see the Lord put Satan on Job. That there is none like him in the earth. And the Lord did it to prove a point because he knew that Job wasn't going to fall. He knew the love that Job had for him. You see, he did it to prove a point. And Lord will, the Lord have our spirit just like that, like like Job, man, to stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, hey, because we coming in time of great persecution, you know, uh, great trials and tribulation. We're gonna be tested. Um, and it says, yeah, "Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is <clears throat> none like him in the earth?" A perfect and upright man, one that feared the Most High and a sure of evil. You see, I just wanted to just get that point, and I'm gonna jump down to verse 13. But it's just a show. A like Satan <clears throat> is a son of the Heavenly Father, a hey, and the Heavenly Father, a hey, he'll use Satan just to uh try to uh, to sift you. You see, but this is a uh, Job 1 to 13, and they'll was a day when his sons and his daughter were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. So the Lord had all his um his oxen and asses taken out. While while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of the most high is fallen from heaven and have burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. I, Salak, so and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. So then next the Lord took out all his sheep and his servants. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yeah, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only, and only, so like, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating, and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness. And that's how it's going to be in these times. They say like in the uh, days of Noah, they were eating and drinking, making marriage. Hey, that's the same um, spirit these niggas in the day because they were celebrating their birthday. Job, he giving up sacrifices. He praying for them, you see, because they going off. <clears throat> and that's what we out here doing. We telling you that you're going off. Hey, how about Shemal Shah is not pleased with this, but you still eating, drinking, partying. You just don't, you know, you don't care. 
And it's going to come, let um, me say, a great win. It tell you how Esau eat him. He's going to come in like a flood on you niggas, man. You see? And it says, and he's going to come down with great wrath. He's going to uh, force, he, not force, but he's going to manipulate. He's going to deceive you and taking his karagma because you trust in his society. You see? And ultimately, you're going to get destroyed. And it says, and behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. You see, hey, and that's how it's going to be, man. Uh, you're not building your house on that foundation, which is your house shot. You're building your house on sand. Hey, and to tell you, when old winds come in and beat upon the house, it's going to be a, a great fall, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And it says, and they are dead, and I am, and I only am, escaped alone to tell thee. And it's the point. It said, then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped. See, after all this, Job, he fell and he worshiped Yahweh by Shema Oshai, man. That's why he prayed the Lord he had his spirit on us, man. He said and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. And Yahweh Bashim al gave, and Yahweh Bashim al have taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Bashim al man. You see? So anything that we have hey, is of the Lord, man. So, Hey, we coming in some times, hey, you know, the apostle are we going through that word sifting, where it's just a great agitation. The Lord, hey, you know, the brothers going to have, everybody been having accounts, you know. The Lord just, you know, trying, trying, brothers, man, you myself as well. You see, and it's only going to get worse and worse here in Babylon. But what we have, when all hell break loose, hey, how about Shemal Shah said, my servant shall eat, that's why I, that's the point of us holding fast because when all hell actually break loose, Lord willing, we are the elect. Hey, we have a source of um that that is going to feed us in those days and going to shelter us and going to protect us. We're going to put a, a, a put the spirit on us, man. The Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashimal Shah to stand stiffly for the name, whatever um he has to come upon us. But two thirds of our people, hey, they ain't gonna have no hedge of protection at all. You see, verse 22, and all this Job sin not, nor charged the most high foolishly. You see, so out of all this, a joy, I mean, so like Job, he kept his his integrity, man. He 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 worshiped the Lord. He said, he said bless you, how about Shem al Shah. And he ain't saying nothing foolish, like, you know, he just held fast. He, you know, and that's that's the um that's the job, man. The whole fast, you know, the prophesied down the fall of America and the whole fast. Because uh, once again, Esau Edom is coming down with great wrath. And if we hold fast, hey, we're going to receive that closing experience just, just like our Lord Yahweh Shah, Job. You see? That's, hey, that's what it's for. Uh, Lord willing to receive salvation. Uh, let me get first Peter. Four and verse seventeen, and it says, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and we in no days where judgment is finna get ready to begin. Hey, it's just a matter of time before Jacob's trouble a hey, pop off, man. And tell you how he gonna begin at the house. That's why we telling, telling you people, hey, quit following all these false uh, leaders like Nate them, uh." I-S-U-P-K, I-U-I-C, Sons of Thunder, uh, Watchmen for Israel, and whoever else teaching that the mark of the beast is spirit, you better start following them dudes, man, because the Lord, he just said, hey, the judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And that's in um, Ezekiel 9 as well. You see? And if the first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High. You see, so for all you 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 ones who don't even want to hearken into the gospel, to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, you're going to have a horrible end, man. You're going to have to go through Jacob's trouble. Hey, 
it's going to be hell for you niggas. That's why we don't want to be a part of that, man. Verse 18, and it says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? He said the righteous going to scarcely be saved in them days, man. And we're going to be some scary times. But, hey, Lord willing, he bless us with the integrity. You know, as our forefathers, Yahweh Shai, Job, Daniel, the three holy children, to stand still for the names, hey, we will receive a, uh, a that's, that's salvation. Yep. This is uh first Peter's <clears throat> first Peter one and verse six. <clears throat> Salaki. And it says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through many fold temptations. I'm gonna read in the NLT it says, So be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while. These are the times up ahead, many trials, man. Cause we're gonna have to trust in you. How about Shimmy out shot when there ain't no food out here? When he killing our family members. You know, he might get you round up, take him to a concentration camp and, and place before a guillotine. Hey, we're gonna have to uh stand stiffly for the names of Howard you Howard Shot hey, to receive uh that that great that great ending, man, that that deliverance, that salvation. You see? It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, you know, going into those um, trials and tribulations, it says, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You see, he said, though it be uh, tried with fire, hey, it's going to be um, found praise and honorable in the sight of our Lord Yahweh Shai when he returned, man. And that's what we're looking for. For him to return and be and look at us with praise and honor. And he's gonna deliver us, man. We see. Matthew, St. Matthew 10 and 22. And it says Uh, yep. These are the times we're coming into. And the scripture tell you how they're going to be many. We're going to be offended in Yahweh Shah in them days. And we got to pray to Yahweh Shah. Hey, bless us not to be offended in them days. This is St. Matthew 10 and 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You see, that was gonna be that's the times we're gonna be up ahead, man. Or well, your family members gonna turn you into the authorities to be beheaded. You see? Or well, however Esau Edom may put you to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endure to the end shall be saved. You see? So if you endure to the end, you're gonna be saved. And that's the same word right there. Um, Job's closing experience. You see, a hey, Job held fast, and in the end, hey, he received a hey, everything a hundredfold. And this is what we got to look forward to. We hold fast. Uh, this is Revelations two, verse twenty-five, and it says, "But that which." ye have already hold fast till I come this truth 
and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You see, so you keep these works until the end. The Lord said he's going to give you power over these nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So, Lord, will we hold fast. We're going to be able to rule over these nations, man. Many wives and children, livestock, you see, land, a chariot. But hey, the clause is that we have to hold fast until the end, man. Endure to the end. This is uh, Job 42 and verse 10. Matter of fact, let me see. I'm just going back into that word. Yep, G5056. Uh, the end. This is the end. Come down in the Greeks. Yep, see, referring to Job 42. Well, I'm finna get uh, what it says. So like it. Yep. The closing. The closing experience which befell Job by the Most High's command. And it says referring to Job 42. Now, I'm going to get ready and close it out on this. This is Job chapter 42 and verse 10. It says the Most High restores Job's fortunes. Hey, and they tell you um, with Ezekiel 16, if I'm not mistaken, how the Lord, he said he, he decked us out with badger skin. He, he cleaned us up. He put a chain on our neck. Hey, the Lord, are you going to restore our fortunes? You know, starting with um, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, King David, you know, the 144,000 elect, you know. Hey, they're going to receive, uh, they're going to be restored the, the fortunes first. And the two-thirds are going to have to come back uh, through the loins of the elect, and, you know, and, and receive their inheritance that way, man. And it says, it's like not their inheritance, but you know, they're, they're, um, they're going to come back and receive their fortunes through the loins of the elect. So like, and it says, uh, yep, Job 42 and verse 10, and Yahweh by Hashem Shah turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. And it says, then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with them in his house. You see, it tell you, on the script tell you how we're going to receive a hundredfold wives, you know, all that, man. Hey, we're going we gonna to get our family members back that uh, get put down on this side, man. And it says, and they bemoan him and comfort him over all the evil that Yahweh by Shimei Shai had brought upon him. You see, that's why the scripture say, I do good and I do evil. It say the Lord had brought upon him evil. You see, it says, every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than the beginning. You see, that's the closing experience of Job, and that's what we're looking for. He, for he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a 1,000 yoke of oxen and a 1,000 she asses. He also, he had also seven sons and three daughters. You see, I ain't, you know, I ain't going to go into their names. Just jump down to verse 15. And in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. After this lived Job an hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations. 
So Job died being old and full of days. You see, so hey, the Lord uh gave Job back hey, that hundredfold, man. He got to see up the four generations of his of his of his sons. You see, but this time around, Lord willing, we are the elect. Hey, we're gonna be delivered from here over over here in America and throughout the four corners of the earth by the way of so called UFOs. We're gonna go back to our land and this gonna be we're gonna live like this for eternity, man. Like he said, Job, uh, he died being old. A hey, uh, the Israelites are not gonna die hey, in the kingdom to come. But hey, Lord, what in this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters? I'm gonna end it off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from, and Shalom to the whole, hopefully, lake. You know, hold fast, and Shalom.